A tragic hero is someone that is thrown into a world of darkness, something that they're not used to, something that can easily kill them at any point in time. But with a bit of effort and a bit of support, whether it be insanity, whether it be desire or passion or revenge, these tragic heroes that are thrown into this world will ultimately change and evolve into a character that wants to change the world for good, ultimately breaking the original birdcage that was set upon them. Without a doubt, there is two characters at the moment that overlap each other exponentially. Two characters that share a lot of traits in terms of personality, even events, mentalities, ideologies even. These two characters are known as Aaron Yeager and Ken Carnegie. Today we're going to talk about a lot of different things that both these characters have in common. Respectively, they take place, obviously, in their own world. So even if some things are similar, they're going to be more orchestrated to their respective realm. I think also I have to reiterate that this is not a comparison on who is better. Both characters are seemingly written differently with different perspectives. When you think about the beginning of the story for Tokyo Ghoul and Attack on Titan, you're kind of given a very young and innocent character. Innocent to the world, innocent to everything that's around them. Kaneki at a young age and Aaron Yeager at an even younger age. Both characters kind of unknown to what the Unsound world is. Kind of alluded to some sort of birdcage and seeing them before everything happened is rather innocent, rather nice to see, is refreshing. Knowing the struggle and torment that they will go through eventually is rather harsh to swallow and you wouldn't want to put that onto anyone you know. Alas, both characters have fundamental pillars. These pillars help them mentally, physically, emotionally. It helps them push forward in hard times. For Kaneki, it's Hide, someone that is a constant pillar and a very pivotal figure for Tokyo Ghoul. In Eren's case, it's Armin and Mikasa, two of his closest friends, that kind of play two different sections of his mind. You have Armin, who is a more intellectual driven person that kind of wavers all different options. And then you have Mikasa, who is the more brutally honest and kind of forceful type person that will take action. All of these pillars help shape and develop our main characters, and without them, they wouldn't probably be who they are today. They redirect and even reflect their ideologies and personalities. Pillars that help them grow and evolve. However, both of them reach a point of no return. Something that changes their life completely. A accident, a situation that happens. They ultimately get experimented on by doctors. And this would be Grisha in Aaron's case and Dr. Canal in Carnegie's case. Which thrusts them into a world of unknown. A world that is so new to them. That is so dangerous. That will kill them at any point if they ultimately slip up. The problem within this newfound world that they have entered is bigger than themselves. And yet, both of their ideologies, their viewpoint on what this newfound world is, how they see everything, the perspective of morality, the perspective of indirection and corruption, and how cruel this world seemingly is, is very true within their character. A change starts to boil up within them. The idea to break free of this monstrous birdcage and to become a bridge that ultimately connects these worlds together. To destroy kind of everything that is going on right now to bring some sort of peace and happiness to this newfound world. Both of these characters want to break a birdcage. The birdcage that resides around the human world and the ghoul world, conflicting at one another with genocide and war and just ultimate hatred for this species. And then in Attack on Titan's case, you have Eldia and Mali within a racial war for thousands of years over not only political power, but physical power within the Titans and using them as weapons to destroy and control everything. Both these characters want to dismantle this ideology to begin with. They want to dismantle this birdcage and set a new precedent, even if that means means creating some sort of new birdcage, which equals to freedom. Carnegie wants the ghouls to be frivolous and free, not to be restricted by humans, but also not for the ghouls to windlessly go around and destroy humans at any means possible. So in Carnegie's case, he wants to connect the worlds together and to make humans understand ghouls and to make ghouls understand humans that they can indeed coexist. Aaron Yeager wants to destroy the hierarchy and the political and racial warfare between Eldia and Mali, getting rid of potentially Titans completely one of the biggest issues at hand all of these problems to give everyone freedom, to give everyone peace, 
to stop this war that has been raging on for so many years. They've taken this into their own hands. The world that they've been unjustfully and unfairly thrown into, the power that they've ultimately gained, they are using it for good. Both have lost something important to them, to harden their ideology and to push them forward. Carnegie reflects on his mother time and time again. Carnegie also reflects on Hide time and time again, which is a very detrimental thing to him, but also a very important pillar that is no longer realistically there. However, this pillar does play an important factor in hardening Carnegie, in changing him and evolving him to understand different things. The people that he relies on may no longer be there, but their impact and their importance as a character and someone within their life hardens his ideology and gets him to push forward. Eren lost his mother, which kick-started a revenge scheme against Titans. He himself firsthand had seen how brutal the Titan nature is, how it can take loved ones away from families. A revenge scheme is placed within his ideology, wanting to destroy all Titans completely, so no other people would have to be hurt like he was, so people wouldn't have to lose their loved ones or their family members or anyone that means something to them because of Titans. He wants to destroy them all. Both of these characters have changed their mentality, but they also bottle up their emotions. Throughout the journey and the experience and the years that both of these characters have faced, they've obviously grown as people. They've grown as characters. With that, their mentality changes. They become more mature. They become to understand things a lot better, what they are actually capable of and what they aren't. This change comes in a lot of different ways. And in both of their cases, it was a lot more sacrificial. They were willing to push past anything and everything to sacrifice themselves to connect this world together, to break free of everything that has kind of been restricting the ideology that they want. The peace between ghouls and humans, the peace between Eldir and Mali, the destruction of Titans. They are willing to fight and kill and to absorb all this hatred and absorb all this prejudice towards them for a much bigger picture, for a much more beautiful picture, a lifestyle that will let people be free and choose for themselves. It comes at a cost, however, not being able to get close to people that specifically, or being scared to get close to people, being scared to rely on your friends and allowing them to help you. So instead you build an army, an army that will follow your ideals and ideology to push forward and to change things, to bring upon a new world, a new foundation at the sacrifice and cost of a lot of different things. The faces of both of these armies, which is Aaron Yeager and Ken Carnegie, ultimately have all the responsibilities fall onto them. They are deemed the villain of the story. They're deemed the bad guys. But yet what they are trying to do is much more benevolent and much more bigger than themselves. They are doing things that other characters would not hope or even think about trying to do. They are some of the tragic heroes that are willing to sacrifice everything, their respect towards them, their friendships, their families, their loved ones, because they have witnessed and lost so much, but their ideologies and their mentality is so strong to push forward that they are willing to do this. They are willing to be the villain or the monsters of the story. They are both willing to push forward at whatever costs to reach some sort of conclusion, to reach a freedom, to reach a concept or an idea that they are happy with. The biggest thing about both of their motives towards the end of the story is that these motives and these setups are not something that ends with them dying. Even if death comes towards Aaron Yeager's way, even if it came for Carnegie, the amount of change that has taken place, the amount that they have pushed forward, the changes, the amount that they have interrupted everything that has been going on, the amount of effort that they've put in does not go unnoticed. If Aaron dies at the end of the story, but manages to get rid of Titans completely, he will still be deemed as a monster for everything that he has done, for the people that he has killed. But he was the only person to stop this repeating cycle of hatred between Eldia and Mali, potentially. And in return has saved the future from wiping itself out at the cost of himself. Carnegie has done something extremely similar at the cost of his own mentality, of his own sanity. He'd lost himself so many times, he's destroyed himself. Carnegie himself has killed hundreds if not thousands of 
innocent people, but he has stopped the biggest thing that was in his way. He has pushed forward a new future, which has helped ghouls and humans coexist to an easier extent. The world is by no means perfect, but it is a beginning. It's starting anew, and people are much more open to the idea now. This is exactly what can happen with Attack on Titan. The world won't be perfect, but whatever Eren Yeager does will change the world completely, and will change the future for what is to come. Both of these characters, Carnegie and Eren, play such a vital role in shaping the world, in shaping other characters, their mentalities, their actions, the amount of power and responsibility they are given to change everything, to take control, is so similar. Both of these characters have been through a lot. Both of these characters are viewed in so many different lights, but there are so many situations and ideals and concepts that parallel within them beautifully. Both of these characters may not share a similar fate. However, both of their journeys throughout their respective worlds and stories have been very dark and tragic and vicious. And without a doubt in my mind, that makes them a tragic hero. So with that being said, that is basically it. Let me know how you guys feel about the Carnegie and Aaron parallels. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know. But I'm actually going to end the video off here. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.